Hey everybody, it's Marilene, Delicious Delights. Today I'll be doing the Confessions of a Perfume Collector tag. This tag has been started by Carmen Centrix. I have seen this tag being circulated in the community. It looks like a super fun tag to do. So there's 12 questions and before I begin, of course, I will link Carmen Centrix channel down in the comments or the description box. Please do check out her channel. I do enjoy her videos. She comes across as very, very sweet and friendly. So thank you to Carmen Centrix for starting this tag. And let's begin with the first question. Okay, number one, which is your cheapest fragrance? Now, I have three here that um, I want to talk about. Uh, there are many, many other fragrances that I have that are under five euros. Uh, but the ones that I will be talking about today, first of all, is going to be H&M Pear. And so I really enjoy this. This is one of my most favorite cheapy scents of all time. I think it's still available. Um, they used to have like a huge collection at H&M. Then they like condensed it down to like five, I would guess. Um, maybe it depends in which country you live in. Maybe there's a bigger selection. But in the Netherlands, they have really condensed it down to like very few. I know there's vanilla still. There's t-shirt, I think there's rain still, and then there's also pear. So this to me smells like a realistic green apple scent. I do get pear in there as well, but the first thing I think about is a tangy, sharp, but also sweet green apple, almost like a Jolly Rancher, the green ones that have a mix of green apple and pear in it. So it's very watery, transparent, sweet, um, very affordable. Um, I think the regular price is like $5.99, but there's discounts on this often. So I might have paid like three euros for it or something like that. <laughs> uh, so that's the first, uh, one of my most cheap, affordable scents. Another one here is a very popular scent, Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. This is the original one. And this one is just a simple, fresh, spicy, herbal green tea perfume. It smells beautiful. It smells a lot more expensive than what you can find this for online, which is maybe around five euros or so probably even less <laughs> and then the last cheapy here um, is from a house that i own many from um, they're often discounted and this is from the jean art collection the boom collection this one is called savon and this is one of my favorites from the company it's just a fresh clean bubbly bubble bath scent with some musk like a very soft, clean musk, which is very, very simple, but I really enjoy it for when I'm just in the mood from uh, to wear something different from what I normally do. Uh, I really like to reach for gourmands and citrus, but this is just a nice, neutral smelling kind of skin scent. Um, again, under five euros, which is fantastic. Okay. Question number two, most expensive, um, you, what you paid for and or retail value. Okay, so my most expensive, I picked out three from my collection. I didn't pay retail for any of these. <laughs> I found good deals on these, so that's good. Uh, but these are my most expensive, I think, for uh, at the retail value. First of all, we have Maison Francis Kirkshawn Paris Oud cashmere mood um, i think this is now discontinued one of my favorite oud scents even though i always say i'm not really in the mood to wear oud when i am in the mood this is my favorite or one of my favorites and i think if i'm not mistaken this could be between 350 and 400 euros but now this is discontinued so maybe it's even more um, online a discount or sorry on eBay or something but this is the extrait de parfum another really expensive one here is incense oud from Killian another one um, 
discontinued another oud but oh my gosh you guys this is the most beautiful combo of incense and oud that i've ever smelled in any perfume very boss lady like when i wear this i feel powerful and in charge <laughs> i wear this one for special occasions but i really should wear it more because I think it's beautiful, really beautiful. And I don't know what the price is um, for this. I would guess maybe around 300 euros. Uh, but because again, if this is discontinued or sorry, now that it's discontinued, um, it's probably more expensive on eBay. And then my favorite niche perfume of all time. This is Amouage Sunshine. I always have been talking about this scent for many years i adore it so so much and i think this is around 350 but you can find it online for around maybe 200 euros so those are my most expensive perfumes retail prices uh, but again i didn't pay retail prices for these i got uh, some deals on these ones question three how many full-size bottles do you have one ounce or bigger okay so i lost track you guys uh, <laughs> but i'm gonna guess my best guess is probably between 200 and 220 something around there um, i will say that i do donate a lot of perfumes the ones that i don't wear as much anymore uh, ones that are really collecting dust i do i donate them just to uh you know reduce the size of my collection and then it goes to another home that uh would use it up you know probably hopefully uh but my best guess over 30 mils and above would be around 200 225 but i do plan on continuing to donate perfumes and so hopefully i can get that down more but we'll see how that goes question four have you ever received weird weird comments about your scent uh, the answer is yes, and it's mostly from people that I know, <laughs> um, not from complete strangers. Um, so recently I made a video uh, talking about my first perfume insult of the year, <laughs> which isn't really an insult. It's just an honest opinion, I think, when it comes to fragrance. My husband, he commented uh, for like a week, my husband does not enjoy this scent. It's matcha meditation from... Maison Margiela and basically he says that this one smells like fish and it's funny because when I made uh, that video about this scent um, other people have said that this is kind of fishy it has like this seaweed seaweed sushi kind of scent to it I can link that video down there if you guys want to see it it's kind of funny actually <laughs> with how uh, that came about but um, this is one of the perfumes that got me kind of a weird comment and my mom she told me when i was wearing amouage sunshine she told me that i smelled like old grass which is very interesting because when i smell this i'm thinking of dried fruits apricots vanilla cream kind of like a creamy dessert pastry spice thing but she smells something completely different and she hates the scent <laughs> also my dad i wore a scent from old navy called um, sea salt and fig and I really enjoy that scent a lot. Um, he told me that it's too strong because I remember walking like past him, like he has his computer desk here. And then for me to leave and come, come and go from the house, I had to pass him. And every time I wore the scent, he's like, oh, what are you wearing? It's too strong. I don't like it. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so that was Old Navy Sea Salt and Fig. But my favorite compliment of all time uh, is from my nephew some years ago when I was there in Canada visiting family um, I was wearing Casamarati Lira and uh, we were at this place and I was wearing this and he told me that he smells um, cupcakes 
and he was convinced that I was hiding cupcakes in my bag. He was like convinced that I had desserts on me, but I didn't. I was just wearing this um, Lira by <laughs> Casamorati. So that was my favorite uh, comment of all time. All right. So do you wear perfume? This is question five. Do you wear perfume for cuddling time? Which one? Um, well, not specifically, like I'm always testing perfumes, trying out new perfumes, wearing perfumes. So it's not like, well, I do have maybe one in particular, but it's kind of like all over the place because I'm usually already smelling like something then it just turns into a cuddle time scent. But uh, one in particular, Ariana Grande Cloud, I didn't bring it down with me today, uh, but I find that one to be a wonderful cozy cuddly warm kind of scent uh, it does remind me of Baccarat Rouge 540 but it does have this kind of like creamy milky almost coconutty soft kind of feeling to it which I think would make for the perfect uh, cuddle time scent now the next question is number six how many sprays do you spray uh, well, it depends. Uh, it depends on the perfume. So for example, I have a very, very strong scent here. This is one of the most potent scents that I own. And I would probably just spray one spray, uh, maybe just here or maybe just in the back of my neck. Uh, when it comes to lighter scents, like, where is it? When it comes to lighter scents, like the green tea i would spray maybe five six maybe up to ten of it because uh, this scent doesn't really feel cloying no matter how much you spray of it it just never feels too heavy so it really depends on the perfume on how potent it is um, i would do 10 sprays of boom savan uh, for a light freshy kind of scent and then some heavier scents uh, like alien for example which is actually still in the box uh maybe like one and with this one in particular probably not here i would do it like the back of my neck or my legs or something <laughs> just not here because this one feels very 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 heavy um, so it just depends on how potent the scent is where do you spray your perfume Again, that depends um, with how strong it is. So for a citrus scent, uh, a light citrus scent, uh, I don't have any here. Um, oh, let me just grab this one here. A nice light citrusy scent. This is Alien Eau Extraordinaire. Um, I would spray it up here because it doesn't feel cloying when I wear it. Even if I spray a lot of it, which I probably wouldn't anymore because this one is now discontinued. It's probably my favorite version of Alien. But yeah, I would spray up here probably three or four times. And then for heavier scents, like, uh, do I have a heavier scent here? Uh, like Blanche Bette, which is like one of my favorite niche scents of all time now. Um, maybe I would just spray just once here and maybe just like once on my wrist and i love it so much so that's typically where i spray and when it's super super strong i would like spray my legs or the back of my knees sometimes even my ankles just anywhere just anywhere but up here where where the the scent would rise up and it would be too coin if they're too heavy do you buy backups the answer is uh, I do. <laughs> and uh, I made some videos about this lately. Uh, I recently got backups of a Orange Sanguine, which I have here. Um, love this scent, you guys. One of my absolute favorites. I have a backup or a few backups of this Pomelo Parody. Beautiful grapefruit scent. Also, not too long ago, I got backups of Tonka Imperial and Spiritus Dublivini in the older style bottles, the 75 mils. And because I think Tonka Imperial will be discontinued if it's not already. And also, what else? Mm, this one. <laughs> this is actually my second bottle that I just showed you. Uh, I have a smaller, another one exactly like this. This is just a small 
travel size, I believe, 15 mils, which is more than enough for me because of how strong it is. So this is my backup bottle of Alien EDP. And that's all I have backups of, if I remember. Actually, no, I'm lying. <laughs> this is also one of my favorites, the comforter. This one's almost empty. And this is my full version of the comforter, which is, I think, the best budget, the best budget uh, black currant scent that I've ever tried. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Number nine, do you show your collection to friends and family? Uh, answer is no, not really. Um, no. <laughs> Uh, like my mom, when she comes to visit, she'll come and see my collection and try different things. But no, I don't really share it with anyone. Well, I share it with you guys. <laughs> uh, it's really nice to have this outlet to be able to share this beautiful hobby uh, that I enjoy so much. And all of you as well, interacting with all of you. I enjoy that so, so much. So yeah, I share my collection and what I have. Uh, with you guys but family and friends not really no they're not really into perfumes as much as i am number 10 okay does your partner spouse slash spouse know how much you spend the answer is yes um it's kind of weird like how do you even hide it it's not a thing that i ever even thought to do to hide i never really thought that i had to <laughs> But I have heard people, some people do hide that. I think that could be problematic. Um, they probably can find out at some point and then it's going to be a problem. But no, my husband is very, very supportive with this whole perfume hobby. Um, he knows that it makes me happy. He knows that um, I can control what I spend. And, you know, I try not to go too overboard, but I also spend money because uh, I enjoy I enjoy smelling things. I enjoy everything about this hobby, even the odd blind buy. So he doesn't really ask me how much I spend, but he has an idea like, you know, he'll see a new perfume that comes in in the mail and he's always, you know, he always looks over to see what it is, but he doesn't really give me a hard time with anything when it comes to this hobby. Um, also vice versa he has his own hobbies as well um and i don't you know i trust him of course <laughs> i trust him to be able to control how much he spends and then doesn't go overboard so uh yes my husband knows everything when it comes to what i spend what i buy and i don't really he doesn't give me a uh, problem with it which is really really nice so uh yes that is number 10. Number 11, do you plan on collecting more or do you see yourself quitting anytime soon? Uh, no, I don't see myself quitting anytime soon. This seems to be something um, that will be going on forever for me. I just enjoy perfume so much. I love testing the most. Testing perfumes is my most favorite part of this hobby. And then falling in love with a perfume and then purchasing it and owning it in my collection and just enjoying the perfume, even it just sitting on my shelf. Uh, a lot of times perfumes transport me to another time, another place. It reminds me of certain events or certain people and the nostalgia of it all. It's just so much fun for me, you guys. It does give me a lot of joy um, with my life. <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't see myself quitting anytime soon. There are, there are always new releases coming in that I'm curious about. And although it is, or it can be very overwhelming, it's still a lot of fun for me. And so that keeps me busy also with this YouTube channel. It's, there's always something to talk about because there's always new perfumes being introduced, uh, but also there's a lot of older perfumes, vintage perfumes that I haven't even touched on really, even though I have like this big collection of vintage perfume samples that I do want to focus on at some point in the future. Um, but yes, the answer is I do not see myself quitting anytime soon. And the I guess the other part of this question is, do you plan on collecting more? 
Well, I don't really plan on collecting more, but I just know it's going to happen. <laughs> At the same time, though, uh, I can see myself getting rid of stuff that I don't reach for. Uh, maybe at some point I'll do like a big purge of my collection of perfumes that I no longer reach for or perfumes that I'm not really in the mood to wear anymore or just, um, you know, maybe I will make a little bit of money back um, condensing my collection into a smaller collection that of perfumes that I would wear more. Um, but yeah, the answer is I don't plan on collecting more, but it just comes naturally that my um, collection will grow as I discover more perfumes and then that will happen anyway. So uh, again, I will probably d donate more just to try to keep it to some kind of level, but I'm not really that strict about it. Um, we'll see how that goes though. <laughs> And the last question is, where do you see your collection in 20 years? 20 years, wow. I'm going to be like 64 at that point. <laughs> uh, probably collecting a lot of dust. <laughs> probably evaporated somewhat. <laughs> and maybe a lot of the colors of the perfumes will darken because, you know, over time, especially with like vanilla scents, they change in color and they become more deep and rich and, and darker smelling. Um, but what was the question again? Where do you see your collection in 20 years? Well, hopefully, hopefully uh, the goal here for me um, is that I would maybe condense my collection down into like my top 50. Is that a realistic goal though? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure you guys, but ideally I would like to like have it down to like 50 or even 30, but is that going to happen? Probably not. I do enjoy uh, having all of these perfumes. Um, they just it's like a library of scent where if I want to be reminded of a certain someone, time, event in my life, then I can just pick up a perfume like this one here, Hypnotic Poison, which is my favorite. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this one when it comes to um, backup bottles. I have a backup of this one as well. This one reminds me of when I first fell in love with the scent. I was in a Sephora, I smelled this for the first time, and I bought it straight away. Um, and now it is still my favorite, and it's my favorite women's designer perfume of all time. So yeah, that was uh, my tag video, the, the confessions of a perfume collector. And actually, I think I was even tagged to do this. Like in Carmen Centric's video, she tagged many 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 reviewers am i in here yes i am <laughs> and usually when i do tags uh, i'm not tagged i usually tag myself but i'm actually tagged here so thank you so so much carmen centrics i feel super special now <laughs> and i hope you guys enjoyed this long video and i tag everyone anyone who wants to do this video whether you're a reviewer or a viewer you can answer down in the comments um, i would love to read about that as well so i tag everyone and hopefully this tag circulates more because i'm enjoying i'm enjoying many of these uh tag videos and this one in particular i think is the most popular right now the confessions of a perfume collector tag okay so thank you guys so much for tuning in today i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys soon in the next video take care guys bye bye